Hey guys, this is Stephanie Farron, your technology facilitator at Butler High School, and this quick video tutorial is how to manage your edgenuity to make sure your progress is where it needs to be in order to complete your credit recovery courses on time. So we're going to start by going to the Edgenuity website, which the web address is learn.education2020.com, or you can simply Google Edgenuity in any browser and it will bring you to the screen once you click login. We're going to click students and we're going to log in with the username and password that you have already been assigned. Once you log into your course, this is called the lobby when you first come in. On the left hand side is your course list if you have more than one class assigned to you. They are arranged by subject. And the middle will change based on the course that you select on the left hand side and then on the far right is your organizer which is often overlooked by students but we're going to talk about that in just a minute. So if you have started a course before selecting the course again so for example selecting the civics class you're going to see your course information. The boxes indicate the activities and lessons you need to complete and as you can see there is a lot. Okay, They are color coded so if it's red the box means that you are behind. If you, they are blue then that means you are on target and if you're green that means they are ahead. So that's the first indication to make sure that you're completing your work on time. There is a percentage of course completion. Obviously you need that to eventually be 100% complete. At the bottom is based on the work that you've completed where you are. So for example, this first lesson, it might have 10 boxes you have to complete. It's going to change based on the lesson and activities. Your overall grade is based on the work that you've completed what your current average is. Remember for credit recovery, you must maintain a 60% average with 100% completion in order to finish the course. However, your actual grade is where you really are. So perhaps you've done one activity and you scored an 80 on it. So that way your average would be 80%. However, when you t calculate it based on the 100% average, it might be less than 1 point percent of actual completion. So this is the one that actually needs to be 60% and the course completion needs to be 100%. Down at the bottom, you can see what your next activity would be. Uh, you can simply click next activity to continue on. If you'd like to see where you are in the grand scheme of things, this course map will be particularly helpful. The course map will lay out for you all the activities that will be in your particular course and then all the things for each one. So for the first unit, we've got types of government and in types of government, these are the things that I will need to complete as a student. Okay, so this is a good tool to use to see how far I need to go. So in this introduction to American government unit, I have each of these boxes which will then open up to further assignments that I must complete. Okay, and as you can see, this is a pretty lengthy course. Edgenuity is not a quick fix. All right, but even easier if I return to the lobby there at the bottom is to look in the organizer. Okay, so some courses for credit recovery, if I click this math one, we'll start off with prescriptive testing. Prescriptive testing is very important because it will give you a test that if you score high enough on, it will exempt you from some of the activities. I'm going to look in the organizer now. And when I look in the organizer, I'm going to select the second one down, which says reports. Okay, in reports, there is a box for assignment calendar. This is really, really important as a student. So when I click assignment calendar, it's going to let me select if I have multiple courses, the course I want and the week I want. So if I come down and I select, because I have a lot of courses, Math 1 Credit Recovery, and the first week of my course, it's going to tell me exactly what I need to complete for each day in order to stay on target to finish by my completion date. So for example, first day of class, I need to be able to complete a warm-up, and it tells me the percentage from my overall grade, an instruction, the summary, assignment, and a quiz in order to stay on track. Okay, This will change week by week. This is a great tool to go in and look at so that I make sure that I'm staying on track in order to complete my work. If I get behind, I can look back to see how many things I need to do to complete my work. In order to return back to the lobby, I'm simply going to click the back button a few times. So I'm click back here and then back again and then finally this power button to go back to my lobby. So that's how you can look at the two ways to organize uh, yourself in Edgenuity. You can look at your course map in any course once you've started it and you can also look in your organizer to see exactly what you need to do for each day of the week. Make sure you're staying on track because in order to graduate you have to have this completed before graduation.